Titania de Bresteros is an archaeological site located not far from Braga. The Bresteros site is called a Sitana from the Latin Civitas for city, due to its large size and city-like structure. One of the more excavated sites in the northwestern Iberian Peninsula, it is important for its size, urban form, and developed architecture. The site was originally occupied by people in the first millennium BCE, though not much is left from that time. Most of the ruins today are dated from the Second Iron Age during the last two centuries BCE by the Castro inhabitants. The Castros are believed to have been Celtic. Sometime in the first century AD, the settlement was occupied by Roman settlers. This is proven by the Roman coins, Roman pottery, and Roman architecture of the alleys and buildings of the eastern slope. The site is situated on a small promontory called Monte de Sao over the Ave River. The site offers an extensive view over the river and its valley. The moderate elevation of this site, the temperate and humid climate, and nearby river also provided rich natural resources for exploitation and settlement. The visible ruins of the wall village or hill fort is an area of 24 hectares. The defensive ramparts includes a pair of moats. The preserved walls measures between 1 to 3 meters thick and less than 2 meters high. The innermost rampart was partially absorbed into the urban development by being incorporated as a support wall for several family compounds. Gates were cut through each of the ramparts to provide passage. Some of the gate openings still have hollows where palisades were placed. Ramps and stairs provided access to the top. Briterios is unusual for having its street arranged in a rough grid pattern. The urbanized area of the settlement includes an acropolis surrounded by the first rampart in an elevated area of about 7 hectares. Around 100 residential compounds were found in this area, grouped into small blocks divided by several streets. Each of the compounds were delimited by masonry walls and provide living and working space for a large family. These structures included one to three stone houses, some large with an atrium where the nuclear family lived. Other structures within the compound housed other family members, served as stables, or stored agricultural tools, food, and rain or spring water. Daily tasks and crafts were performed in the stone paved courtyard of the compound, which formed the center of the family life in the Sitania. Assuming around six people per family unit, a population of the Acropolis of around 625 people has been estimated but estimates may reach as many as 1,500. The ramparts and main roads are the most visible part of the site. There are conduits that carried water from the spring on the hill, two public bath structures, and a large meeting or council house. The ruins of one bath was accidentally found during road work in 1930 and is the best preserved construction of its kind in northern Portugal. Between the second and third line defenses is a structure with a kiln. Lee and I very much enjoyed going through this site. Unfortunately, it started raining as we were about halfway through, and we had to cut our visit short, as the pathways are quite rough and very slick when wet.